Hi and welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, stick around because we're having a weekend away. Right, so off the weekend away. Um, we'll keep it a bit of a signal at the moment. But uh, we'll give you a few updates as we're travelling. You can hear Lucky, that's the blind dog in the back. She barks for a while until uh, she starts to settle, but uh, hopefully she'll settle down very shortly. Right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. And it's on camera. <laughs> So literally we have a warning light on and it is beeping away, so we are going to have to go back home and get that checked out. So, a little bit of a nightmare. Um, we're getting a warning light on the dashboard, and we have beat them to go with it. We did pull over and try and check what it actually was. It seems as though it's a warning because of the brake. We're halfway from home and we're halfway to where we're actually going. So it was a decision, shall we carry on or just turn around and go back? Decided to just carry on. Um, I am at a breakdown, so if that does happen, I could get towed home. So that's a big help. So we're just going to risk it and see what happens. The beacon stopped, I've still got the light on, but we'll see what happens. Okay, yeah, I'll curve it's just going to pile, that's all. Right, okay. All right, so let's get to this. In 300 yards, yeah. turn left. So, look at the state of this road. Wow, it's oh a bit bumpy. My God. Bit of a bumpy one, and it's uphill, quite a gradient. And it's just like a gravel road. Oh, oh I've got a good view, Andrew. If it's up here. Hi, so we've made it to Elkirk viewpoint um, here at Kielder Water. Um, this is our park up for the night, another camper that's just turned up behind us. Um, so yeah, we're sort of just trying to get set up a little bit now. Um, we'll put the kettle on, have a quick cuppa and then we'll show you around a little bit further. So we're in the van now, we're finally getting a little bit sorted and a little bit more organised. It's been a bit of a nightmare because obviously until we first try everything out, we need to find out where everything actually goes, where it fits and obviously you can't really do that much on the drive and this is our first time away in the van. So we've getting this nice spot, um, it's a little bit boggy outside but um, it is a nice spot, seems to be really quiet. It's only one more camper van that's here. Um, all the dogs are settled in quite nice. Um, we've got Lucky who's buried herself in one of the blankets and Lily and Daisy's flat out in the city. And we've got Bracken who's just made himself comfortable on the passenger seat when that's swiveled around. So I think we've just got to have ourselves a nice cuppa and then I think we'll crack on a little bit later with some tea. Um, and you can watch a cooking masterclass because that's what's coming up next. Right. Masterclass in Kukri. Uh, let's be having you. 
So, butter-ish, steak-ish, and blue cheese. Perfect combo. Now, unfortunately, Alison won't be eating steak tonight because of her diabetes. She needs to eat something else. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. So, and I know Bracken's carefully watching this, but it's got my name on, not his. So he's got no chance. Right, hello, dog. In your bed. So, masterclass in cooking steak in the fan here. Start off by lighting the right gas. Let's go master class, can't even get the gas time. Good start on it. <laughs> Right, <laughs> we're neither that high, do we? So I'll, get, I'll turn down a touch. Like right, butterish. Kind of bake the stuff. Big knob of butter in. Is that around the pan? Gas down a bit more. Next job. Ribeye. I prefer ribeye steaks, it's got a little bit of fat in it. Helps the cook a bit better. Just realised now that the camper van isn't straight. All my butter's lying down one end. Putting a lid on the top of that as well. Keep all the splashes and everything in. What we're doing in the meantime is we boil the kettle because I'm having mash with this. So let's see if I can get this gas to light. Yeah, perfect. Kettle on. Steak on. Oh yes. Oh yes. It will be mine. So when it comes to cooking steak, everybody says get your pan red hot, burn it on one side for four minutes, then flip it over and burn it on the other side for four minutes. So you end up with a burnt steak that's bleeding inside. Now, I like my steak cooked all the way through. Um, I'm not a fan of having blood all over my plate, so we'll just cook it until it's done. If it's 10 minutes on one side and 10 on the other, that's how long it took. Right. See how this steak's doing? Oh, 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 oh. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. So, we actually got some uh, tea towels to keep in the van. I've just opened one up. It's a new one. They it's were actually, expensive and they were out dobbies. It's actually the size of a dining table cloth. <laughs> so, bit of a nightmare. But not worry, won't use it. Anyway, let's check that steak. Oh yes. Time to turn. Turn the kettle. Kettle boiling. Perfect. Kettle's boiling for the mash. Time to turn. Oh, 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 oh. oh it smells lovely. Let's have a look at that steak. Right, turn you off a second. Oh yes. Oh yes, that's how you cook the steak. And the kettle's boiled, ready for that lovely buttery mash. Not sure if you've tried this mash, if not, it's absolutely tastes tremendous and it's an absolute doddle to make. 
Just going to use a little bit of the puck. Kettle's boiled. Boiling water in. Perfect, perfect mash. Right, now what's on the agenda? We did say this was ribeye steak with blue cheese, and that's what we're getting. I think we can see through the steam of the mash. Oh, you can't you can see through the steam. I'll show you what this is all about in a second. Even if you're not a fan of blue cheese, this is the way to go up. Lid back on. Now we're looking. Perfect blue cheese just starting to melt now on my steak. Perfect. Need to have a quick tidy up though before it's done. Catch you in two seconds. Right, let's get this bad boy plated up. Perfect mash every time you can actually get this as a cheesy version as well which is even better but it's quite rare to find so we've got the mash oh my dears look at this steak look at that in fact let's get it out and present it properly And because it's only butter and juice, we'll have a bit of that now mash. Absolutely tremendous. Let's get a decent knife out. And let's give this a sample. Just gonna move you up a bit because this is gonna be delightful. Perfect. In every way. Oh, see you on the other side. Right, so Alison's on a diabetic diet. Thank you. Right, enjoy. I will. Hey, dogs, get down. Get down. Lily. Old pasta. Your favourite. My favourite. Half the sugars. So this area is actually classed as dark sky area. Um, the camera's picking the, the light up really well because it is actually that dark. I can't see Bracken in front of me at the moment. But it's, I can see on the camera that everything's lit up really well. So, yeah, there's a stream down the side. Get out the stream! Well, Bracken's just found a stream down the side. He must be thirsty because he's not even a dog that likes water. <laughs> so we're just having a short wander up this path. It's, uh, it's a bit of a struggle, it's a bit of a hill, a bit of a climb. Um, so I'll probably just get up here for a little short while and then head back. I'm actually panting now and out of breath. And so. I think we might actually start and head back. So, get up this morning. Um, we've got plenty of fog and mist. Just letting the dogs out for a quickly do their business. Um, lovely shot of cooler water there for you. Um, <laughs> if you can see that. <laughs> yeah, full of mist. We've actually moved down to a different a different car park simply because we wanted to get up and down with the dogs and get them sorted and there was a couple of the camper vans there. Didn't want to intrude on them, slamming our doors and stuff. 
So we've moved down to this bottom car park. There's no overnight camping in this car park though. Here's Bratton. <laughs> How'd you sleep last night? Toasty, lovely and warm. Toasty, lovely and warm. I had a bit of an issue. Didn't quite fit in the new sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> so the sleeping bag only covered the half of us at the top, um, which meant that I had one arm, one shoulder, and half my chest out the sleeping bag all night, and that was a little bit chilly. But... Uh, We've came up with a plan for that, so we'll figure that out on another episode, I think. Yeah. <laughs> right, I think we've all done the business. <laughs> you enjoying that, son? So the problem we had with the brake was this switch. Um, while we were travelling yesterday, the retractable dog lead fell off the seat, came down the back, and actually knock this switch off the handbrake. So when you pull the handbrake on, there's actually a button on there that sort of pushes in, and then when you let your handbrake off, the button pops back out. Now because that switch had actually came off, the vehicle thought the handbrake was still on. So it ended up that that's why we were getting the warning light. It thought we were driving with the handbrake on. So. A little bit of uh, change of scenery. We've now left Kilda. We started heading home um, and then decided it's actually quite a nice day, so we've actually popped down to the beach as well. Um, we've come along to the Water's Edge Beach, uh, nearby Gunners Rock in Sunderland, well, South Shales. Um, so I'll just show you around here a little bit. Let's see, we've now got a beautiful day. Old dog walkers down here, dear. It's just perfect. No wind. It's tides out. Sun's up. So anyone living in Sunderland or South Shales, this is the perfect beach. Now if you can see down the distance, we've got the turret going on the top. But just absolutely stunning sands. Anyway, so hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have all the good stuff, like, subscribe, check in the next time. Um, leave any comments that you've got and I hope you enjoyed it. So till the next time, see you soon.